Go. So when the exit poll first dropped at uh, 10 p.m., uh, many people were shocked. Now, a few hours later, it, it seems like the uh, Conservatives may actually exceed uh, the number of seats that were initially predicted by um, the exit poll. What does seem clear, though, at this stage is that the, the pre-election uh, polls were uh, off the mark. All the debates around phone polling, internet polling, and different types of uh, methods to adjust and weight um, the figures now seem uh, irrelevant because the trends across the polls at the end were actually fairly consistent. But while we still haven't had a uh, figures for the uh, vote share, it's, it looks like the Conservatives will probably be uh, have four to six points more uh, than Labour. So something definitely went wrong in terms of the polls. It's in very difficult to say what uh, went wrong. It might be something as simple as lots of people uh, lied to far more uh, complex underlying systematic um, issues. In Scotland, the, the results seem to be more consistent um, with the polls. Uh, if anything, the SNP is actually uh, performing even better than uh, polls were expecting, but they're definitely in that 50 plus percent region and will win nearly all the seats as the polls were ex uh, expecting. Maybe people in Scotland lied less to the pollsters compared to people in England.